before changing the attachment, find a flat and even surface if possible. It's always easier to change the attachment if the excavator is in a horizontal position. Place the attachment on the ground or curl in the bucket before carrying out any operations with the hydraulics for the quick fit. Never operate the quick fit circuit if you're not 100% certain about safety. Press the quick fit switch on the right hand console in the cab and then press and hold the quick fit switch on the left hand console to operate the hydraulic cylinder. This pulls out the locking wedge in the attachment hook or opens the wedge under the pin. Press the red knob on the top of the quick fit switch to be able to press the left hand side quick fit switch down. Make sure this switch is always intact and functional. If you should touch the switch by accident, you won't lose the attachment as the switch is unable to move down. A warning symbol is then activated on the display and a buzzer sound can be heard to warn you that the attachment is now unlocked. A red mechanical pin will move out from the quick fit body to inform you and anyone in close vicinity of the excavator what is happening. Your digging equipment can be used to turn the bucket, but you can, of course, always reposition the excavator. Sometimes you may destroy the underlying surface, so the final decision is up to you. Operate the digging equipment smoothly and slowly, so as to avoid any scratches or damage to the components. If you're, if you're using the Volvo Quick Fit S-Type, you're working with a very light Quick Fit and the loss of breakout force is very small, even if compared to a direct mount bucket. Operate the bucket cylinder open bucket to disconnect the attachment. You also have a great opportunity of optimizing your excavator for each application, as changing the attachment only takes a few seconds. To attach the bucket, curl the quick fit hooks around the two pins on top of the attachment. If you're using the Volvo Quick Fit S6 type, then you're working with a symmetrical and very light Quick Fit. The Universal Quick Fit can pick up many existing pins on buckets. Move the dipper arm to its inner end position. This will cause the mechanical safety arm to fall forwards making it possible to operate and move the quick fit cylinder. The quick fit is symmetrical, so you can connect from both sides. Curl the quick fit hooks around the pin on top of the attachment. When you feel you have the quick fit body close to the attachment, press the switch for the quick fit hydraulics. Make a backhand test on the ground to ensure that the attachment is secure. Should the wedge not move out from the hook after pressing the switch in the cab, the wedge might have become stuck. Try the following procedure. Curl the bucket in until you reach the end position. In the end position, continue to curl the bucket in order to acquire max pressure in the locking cylinder. Now, try opening the bucket once again and you'll see that the attachment is free to place on the ground. If you're still unable to open the quick fit with this end position operation, then something is wrong and you should contact your dealer for the necessary support. If you're working with the quick fit type S1, S2 or S3, it's sometimes necessary to adjust the play between the quick fit and the attachment with the help of shims. We recommend you to carry out this maintenance when needed in order to increase the lifespan of the quick fit. Start by measuring the distance between the bolt head and the support on the quick fit body. To get exactly the right dimension, different thicknesses can be ordered. Assemble the nut to secure the bolt and the shims. Repeat the operation on the other side. Do all three at the same time. 
It's important to check that the locking wedge sinks deep enough down into the hook. If the wedge doesn't extend deeply enough, the shims must be removed so they are in accordance with recommendations in the operator's manual. However, if the wedge hits the bottom of the hook, then shims must be added in order to obtain the correct fit. It's strongly recommended that you do a visual inspection after having made the necessary adjustments. Place the machine on a flat surface. Press the safety switch in the cap to release the attachment. Use the open bucket maneuver to disconnect the attachment. Make a backhand test to ensure that the attachment is secure. Adjust play between the S1, S2 or S3 quick fit and the attachment using shims.